Hello and welcome to this session of Rapid Prototyping. In this introductory session, we will discuss the term prototyping and what do we mean by rapid prototyping as well as the importance and need of this technology in today's era. So what is prototype? As per Oxford Dictionary, a prototype is the first or original example of something that has been or will be copied or developed. It is a model or preliminary version. Now this definition treats prototype as a noun. But in our application, in engineering, we treat prototype as a verb or an adjective. So, by, by engineering definition, a prototype is an approximation of a product or system or its component in some form for a definite purpose in its implementation. Here, uh, keep focus on the word approximation and for a definite purpose. So whenever we talk about prototype, prototype will be approximation of the product itself, but it will have a specific purpose. All prototype will not represent systems in equal or equivalent manners. Some prototype may represent system in a holistic manner and some rep represent a system on dimensional basis only. So prototype uh, depends on the purpose. Now, if we say that prototype can be a CAD model also, as shown in the figure, a simple CAD model is also uh, termed as a prototype because the uh, CAD model will represent the system and it will show how the system will look and also it will uh, give some properties like mass, volume, etc. of the uh, product itself. Now, the prototype can be a physical model and it can represent any system in different varieties. For example, here we are uh, looking at a prototype of the same product, but the there are four different prototypes. The first prototype is a cardboard prototype. So, what this cardboard prototype will do? So, this cardboard prototype just represents system on its dimensional level. So, it will not, so this cardboard prototype, it will not give any other extra information. It will just show how the system will look like and how it will feel like. Then, we have here a laser cut prototype. Here, the uh, finishing of the prototype is much higher. We can uh, clearly see the difference between the aesthetics of cardboard prototype and laser cut prototype. Then an advanced prototype is a 3D printed PLA. So here this prototype represents the system in much more uh, accurate way than the laser cut plywood prototype will represent. And Ultimately, we have the CNC milled aluminum prototype. So, this is how, uh, actually what the product will look like. The product will be made of metal and we have a prototype which is made of metal. So, this is the closest representation of the system. However, all these four are example of prototype but they have different level of fidelity. When we say high fidelity, we say we mean that the prototype represents systems more uh, closely or more realistically. When we'll, we say low fidelity prototype, we mean that the prototype will have uh, some aspects of the system in it, but it will uh, represent, it will not represent system wholly. So this is different types of prototype. Now why we use prototype? We use prototype for testing of the product before mass production. So prototype can be used to test any product. Here we can see that a car model is tested for crash test. So this prototype will test that the structure of car is uh, strong enough to uh, say uh, uh, 
say strong enough to uh, uh, have the strength of bearing an accident so this is what this model is showing now the same purpose can be achieved with a cad model simulation also so this also is a prototype but here we are not building a physical prototype so our cost will be much less now why we talk about rapid prototyping first we have to understand what is rapid prototyping what rapid means rapid means with speed or in less time so if you are doing something with a high speed then it is termed as rapid so what is rapid prototyping rapid prototyping is simply prototyping in less time or prototyping with high speed so here we see an example of a rapid prototyping process this is an example of sla process that is stereo lithography and this can manufacture a prototype by layer by layer manufacturing by the polymerization of this liquid we will uh, learn about this technique in detail but this is how the rapid prototyping is conceptualized rapid prototyping is prototyping in less time with high speed why we use rapid prototyping so first thing is cost because ultimately cost of prototype will be very high and if we use normal conventional prototypes then we have to use tools we have to use machines and uh, those special tools special machines will cost much higher than what a rapid prototype can be made of the second criteria is competition now everyone in the business wants to have a market share so everyone is trying to capture the maximum market share but the market will go towards them only who have the best product and who can give the product at earliest now if you want to uh, launch your product early you have to complete your prototype early also and prototyping normal conventional prototype takes much time so rapid prototyping will help you beat the competition in developing a new product now due to this competition you will always have time pressure because you want to uh you are comparing with uh, other companies and you want to uh, reach the top earlier than others so you will also have this time pressure and to reduce the time we use the rapid prototyping step techniques now this is all about rapid prototyping what will be discussed in this uh course that we are going to learn so we are this we are going to discuss about different rapid prototyping concepts what is rapid prototyping we will uh, learn about classification of rapid prototyping techniques we will learn about how to make cad models for rapid prototype and which type of models which type of file formats rapid prototyping techniques will use we will also learn about different rapid prototyping processes rp means rapid prototyping we will learn about different rapid prototyping processes now there are many rapid prototyping processes which are available in the markets and these techniques are still developing so there will be many other techniques which will be classified as rapid prototyping te uh, techniques but we will learn about uh, the major techniques that are mostly being used for example 3d printing for example fuse deposition method fdm you i hope you all have heard about 3d printing most of you have heard about stereo lithography or selective laser sintering we'll learn about all these techniques their physics how this technique works and 
when to use those techniques and we will discuss applications of rapid prototyping where rapid prototyping is used there are many applications other than prototyping uh, there are some specific applications like in medical fields in robotics which we will discuss in this particular course so this will be all for this session now if you want to uh, if you are uh, uh, worried about which books to be used then for now the reference books the reference books for this subject rapid prototyping which are there is rapid prototyping principle and application in manufacturing by world scientific publication this is the name of author ck chuha so this is uh, one of the better book which i have found and i have referred the other uh, good books are rapid prototyping principle and application in manufacturing same title but by different author by r murani and the publication is john gilley and son publication and another one good book is additive manufacturing technology rapid prototyping from direct digital manufacturing the book authored by gibson and strucker and it is by springer publication the local books are still uh, have not come across me so if there is a local publication then uh, you can refer that for your exam purpose but if you want to use some reference books then these three are the one that i have found you can search for these books online and hopefully you will get pdf of these books available online so this will be all for this introductory session if you have any doubts you can ask me otherwise till then happy learning